Hey, this is Monique. Thanks for joining me for One Mo Project. Today I'm going to show you how I fix this zipper on these jeans. It's really easy to do. You could do it with the little repair kit that you get sometimes from a hotel. Let me show you what I did. So when your zipper is broken, uh, you got to fix it. Otherwise you can't even wear your jeans. It would be terrible. So see what happened here? One of those little teeth came off and then the zipper just pulled right out on one side, but it's still on the other side. So we're going to cut it down really far, right up against that lowest tooth that's still left there. There's sort of a ridge at the edge, and you want to cut through that. And then fish the teeth back inside of the little channel on the zipper. Um, and when you pull it, if you can get it to pull up, that's good, but sometimes it wants to slide up with you. So if you pin it through to that under part, and that'll hold that side of the zipper down, because it's hard to get your fingers around all of that extra stuff. So pin that in and then should be able to zip it right up. Double check to make sure that it is straight across the top that you didn't get your teeth off and make them one side longer than the other or something. All right, now get some thread that matches the fabric. See how the zipper is attached to that little bit of fabric? Get some thread that matches that. I'm telling you, you could do this with the little emergency sewing kit you get at a hotel. Thread the needle. Lick it, that makes the fibers stiffer, makes them stick together, and then hold it with just a tiny little bit of thread showing and put the needle down on top of that thread. Now tie it at the end because you're going to go ahead and use both ends, so tie those ends together because you want to build up a stop at the bottom of these teeth. Now before you unzip it too far there though, put a pin back in there. Now if you were making it, if you're doing it with the little emergency kit, use one of the other needles, same difference. But I'm going to use a pin there. So put a pin in there so that before my, I have built up my stop at the bottom, that zipper pull won't slide off on the bottom. I'm going to come through from the bottom and go across right there at those lowest teeth where there's still a pair going back and forth above the place where one came off. And I'm going to go around and around and around with this thread and because what, what I'm doing is building up a stop. It's going to hold it together, that's important, but it's also going to make it stop before it goes down low enough to be in that place where there's no teeth. Because then it would just fall off again. And that could be very embarrassing. No reason for that one, we can fix it. So I'm going to go around and around and use up all that thread. That was about a yard of thread, three feet, give or take. It doesn't matter exactly how much you use, but the point would be to build up enough of a stop at the bottom so that the zipper pull can't slide off again. So once I've used up most of my thread, I'm going to go to the back. I started on the back. I'm going to end on the back and tie that off in a knot. Um, I catch a tiny little bit of fabric and then leave the loop and pull my needle through the loop. That pulls the knot down against the fabric. And then instead of cutting my tail there, I'm going to make two tiny little stitches that you can hardly see and then cut it off. Now my tail is hidden inside. And look at that. Now you can put those pants on and zip them up instead of having to wear them crazy. See, I told you it was easy. No problem. Remember, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. See you next time.